A very big reason people are living here today is for the sole purpose of healing others in need. We don't walk at it alone. It's a magnificent blend of individualistic people with extraordinary abilities, all joining in to heal the world together. And since all of us have the ability to heal, there must be a way to tell the world all about it. Welcome to the Healers Podcast. Las Vegas draws over 40 million people every year. Gambling's a big business, especially by using a deck of playing cards. Very few people know that a deck of playing cards are based on an ancient mystical card system embedded directly into nature and our DNA. With 52 cards matching the 52 weeks and four suits matching the four seasons, this system is extremely accurate. Each of our birthdays are directly linked to several cards in the deck. Knowing how these cards affect you can explain why you fall in love, who your best partner match is, and even your best suited ways to earn money in business. So today on The Healers, we sat down with author, artist, and advisor, Sharon Jeffers, a master card reader who's helped thousands of people around the world better their lives using this ancient old practice of what she calls the cards of destiny. And welcome everybody to this episode of the Healers Podcast. My name is Logan and my very special host, Gabrielle Tewitt. And we have a very special guest coming all the way from Mexico, Miss Sharon Jeffers. Did I say that? I said that right. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Great. And <laughs> Sharon, I mean, it's an honor and a privilege to have you here. We are extremely grateful that you came all the way from Mexico to come on our podcast. We Welcome. Are, we are very grateful and very <clears throat> excited. We've been <laughs> very excited. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> it's such an honor to have you here. You. Obviously, I'm a little biased because I love this kind of stuff that we talk about. But um Anyway, so welcome to The Healers, and you know, today obviously is going to be highlighting everything about you and what you've expressed in this, you know, matrix reality with your books, and more importantly, the cards of destiny, as you call them. You've ha you have two books out now, or do you have more than that? I currently? have another book. It's called Spirit Cards. Spirit Cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have three in total, mm -hmm. and then you have your own set of cards that go along with the books. It's a card deck, and it stands alone. Stands alone. Yeah. It's nice. Full of messages and awesome. Now, do you read cards as well for people? I read cycles of time that are relative to the system, so I don't lay cards out. But okay. um, yeah. Awesome. What? Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about the background of of the cards and how you came into it and what it's about? Because a lot of people listening may not understand the cards of destiny. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> big. Um, <laughs> well, let me start with how I came into contact with this oracle. Mm. It was in 1990, and I was in the health food store, Follow Your Heart, in the Valley, and I had a feeling there was something in the store that was next to it that was for me. So I went in there, and I looked, and I looked, and I didn't find whatever it was. And just as I was leaving, I had my hand on the door. I turned around and looked up, and I saw a book with the four symbols of the cards, and it said, Sacred Symbols of the Ancients. Mm -hmm. And I thought, there it is. So I got the book. I took it home. It was published in 1947 by two numerologists. And um, I started reading it, and I thought, this is so familiar to me. I know this. Hmm. And so, you know, that book became my best friend for some time. Mm. I didn't start writing about the cards or doing readings for people 
until about seven years later. And it was after my oldest son died in a car accident. Oh, I'm sorry. And I moved to Kauai and just Mm. sat in the middle of the floor looking at the ocean, wondering what to do. Mm. And suddenly I started writing about the cards. Mm. I was writing cards of destiny, but I didn't know it. Mm. And I was collecting cards from all around the world, playing cards, old ones. Mm. And I created a little coil-bound book, like an engagement calendar, and I printed it out. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) And then everybody wanted one, and... A literary agent saw it at somebody's house and called me and said, I want to get you published. Wow. That's and that's how that book story. happened. Wow. Prior to the sacred symbols of the ancients, um, their teacher was a man named Olney Richmond, who wrote a book in the 1880s called The Mystic Textbook. Have you seen that? was about the, ma- the, the Magi, right? It was all about the Magi, and, or the Magi, however you pronounce that. Yeah, he broke the code Only, yeah. of the deck. Mm-hmm. Well, the story is that a man approached him on the street and told him how to quadrate the deck, which is how the 90 spreads come to be. So there are set spreads of the deck that relate to our birthday and our age and our life path. And... It's so accurate, it's mind-blowing mm. for prediction. Mm. Mm. Wow. I, I, that's, that's my next question is for listeners, like explaining how they can utilize this in their, their, their personal relationships, their businesses, choosing partners, choosing people that are in line or in, in suit mm-hmm. <laughs> with their destiny. How can you explain that to people, how they can utilize it for, for their better good? This system can be used for all of those things mm-hmm. and, and for timing, for aligning ourselves in time so that we are in harmony with the unfolding of our destinies. Mm, I love that. Yeah. Mm. And for relationships, it's amazing. Mm. It's absolutely amazing. Whatever the relationship. I had a call once from a woman, and she said, my five-year-old is so mean to me. She's sweet to everybody else, but she's so mean to me. And I looked at her cards, and I said, Well, she's your Mars card, so she wants to spar with you. (laughs) I said, you need to find ways to dissipate that energy, you Mm. know, like do things physically together, you know, whenever you start to feel the tension build. So Mm. it's really great. That girl now that was five then, she is a little pop star. (laughs) She's a singer. No kidding. uh, yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. But, you know, it's like, it really helps us to understand our relationship connections. And what's important to me is also understanding the languages of the cards. Mm -hmm. Because each of the suits is very specific. You know, the hearts represent the emotional realm the clubs, the mental realm, the diamonds, the physical realm, and the spades, the spiritual realm. And the hearts are feeling people. So you want to ask them, how do you feel, not what do you think? If you ask them, what do you think, they're going to have to go on a little journey to get there. You know, (laughs) but if you ask them how they feel, they can respond because that's where they live. The clubs, if you ask them how they feel, that's a real long journey because the club people are in their heads, heads. right? And so it's like a hard person has to go through their feelings to get to their understanding, Mm. and and the clubs have to go through their thoughts to get there. What about the diamonds and the spades? Diamonds are action oriented. Right. It's like no time for thinking. Just action. <laughs> Let's just action, do it. action. 
Interesting. Yeah. And the spades are like, I always think of the spades as the judges in the room. It's like, because there's very serious... And each, <laughs> yeah, I'm an eight of spades. <laughs> Sounds very familiar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep, that would be me. Oh, for he, sure. he, his middle name is Judgment. <laughs> he calls himself the critic. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, well you yeah. guys, you are the judges for sure. Yeah. I like to use this example that a friend of mine shared with me years ago, Sandia King. She said. If you have a classroom full of kids and you give them a project, all the little hearts are going to want to gather together. Say the project, it's Monday and the project is due on Friday, right? All the little heart people are going to want to gather together at a table. Mm -hmm. And then the little clubs will go out on their own and start researching. The little diamonds will just go do it. And the spades will do it very meticulously, make it harder than it needs to be. Then when we come back on Friday, it's quite likely that the little hearts didn't get the project done. <laughs> <laughs> so they were busy playing and hanging out. Goofing and, off and stuff, yeah. yeah. Being a little kid inside yeah, of themselves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the little clubs <laughs> would overthought everything yeah. to the point of maybe not getting to action. But mm -hmm. if they did, they would have been overthinking it. The diamonds probably would have forgot something because they didn't think about it enough. And the spades would have it done perfectly, and they would tell everyone else what they did wrong. Mm. <laughs> the critic, there's the critic part. That's totally me, yeah. What was missing? Yeah. That's amazing. No, that, that is amazing. I think people, um, if it, you know, it's, it's funny because people go to, you know, I lived in Vegas for a while, and, you know, you go around the gambling, and it's like, you, do you even realize the cards you're playing with are embedded in nature because there's 52 cards, 52 weeks, four suits, four seasons, and when people are playing those cards, do they even realize that they're playing with something that's really embedded into nature and how powerful that is when it comes to understanding who we are as, as, a, as a species? You know, mm. and I, and so, you know, I guess for my, my question for you, Sharon is, um, which card out of the four suits, which suit would be coming first? If there was to be a, an actual, uh, orientation of the numbers, is there such a thing with those cards? Yes, there is, there is an order, a natural there is an order. order. Okay. What is the natural order? The heart suit, the heart. club suit, the diamond suit, and then the spades, spades at suit. the bottom. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call them at the bottom. It's the evolution of humanity. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Because the heart suit represents self and people and family and home. And that's where we began. And then we go out into the world to learn. And that's the club suit because it represents the mental realm and all things having to do with the mind. Mm -hmm. So learning and teaching and research, right? Mm -hmm. And then the diamond suit is going to take that and put it into action. And that's when we manifest in life, mm. right? Right. And then the spade suit is our connection with spirit and the greater whole of life itself. Mm. So mm. for me, the four suits represent the four aspects of the human experience, emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual. Mm. Mm. How, 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 what, you know, you've done a lot of research. How old are these cards? I mean, I've, I've read, you know, 13th, 14th century. Do you think it goes beyond that? The card deck? Yeah, the cards themselves when they first originated back in Europe, I would imagine. What do you think? Or what have you done as research on it? Well, I've seen calendars medieval calendars that didn't have numbers they just had the imprints of the pips the pips mm. okay Symbols. interesting mm. very mm. you know okay. some people say the system is twenty thousand years old you know and it comes from atlantis I lean toward Lemuria myself, mm, but I like that. <laughs> well, either way, no matter how old it is, I mean, it's it does have antiquity to it, and I think you know just because it's embedded in nature has a lot of power to it. So, so tell us a little so, bit about. Oh, go ahead, Gabs. I'm you, sorry. So you work with people, and you do private uh, sessions with people to help people understand themselves and their destiny, and guide people. I have a question. So. 
is is there such a thing as a a person uh, that are just really not matched well, and it just can't really work out? Like if you you know come across somebody in a relationship, uh, if somebody's not very well suited with somebody, or is everything? you know, can anything be, be workable or pliable? Cause I, I, I know I gravitate towards certain people and, and, and now when I look at the chart, I can see why I'm, I'm attracted or pulling in that person. So when you work with somebody, how, you know, how does that look in terms of helping them navigate in their, their choices and their relationships? Um, well, there are a lot of aspects, and then there are composite cards in our relationships, which is what my book, Love and Destiny, is about. Hmm. So when we composite your card and my card, you're the two of diamonds, mm-hmm. and I'm the king of diamonds, it comes out to be the two of clubs. Mm. That's our relationship, okay. which is a great card for communication, mm. right? Mm-hmm. So every relationship has composite cards. And it's like when two people come together, a third entity is formed, and we call that a relationship. That relationship is actually governed by a card, and then that card has a life path. Mm-hmm. So Another layer to the go life through. path determines how the relationship unfolds. Mm, fascinating. And then in the natal, you know, um, life spread, it's like a natal chart for all of us, and where the portals we came in to time through. Mm-hmm. Um, in there, we have aspects to each other. Like all three of us share a life path. We're all, our life paths are all connected. You're my Mars card, you're my Magi card, and you and I have a mutual Venus connection. And, you know, there are all these different connections. Mm-hmm. And you're my, your other card's my Neptune card. We have a birth card, we have a spirit card, a soul card, and a planetary ruling card that really determine, I like to call it a cosmic egg of who we are, Mm. those four cards. And then we have a 13-card life path, and we have a spirit. I mean, it's very, very um, deep. Mm. It goes layers and layers and layers. Yeah, totally. Right. And you can take it right off the top. This is your birth card. This is who you are, and people go... Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, that's exactly who I am. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then there's like, but you have no idea all these other things. Yeah, yeah. You know? stripping yeah. the layers away. Yeah. So there, in the in, what I think is fascinating about the cards is that it ha- you have your um, you have your um, master spread and then the spirit spread, the two different templates. You know, and um, what what are your thoughts on that? When I observe, because I mean, I look at the card. Each card has a karmic card and then a giving karmic card. Can you explain a little about to the to the um, to the audience what those mean? Because the karmic card and then the giving karmic card. Or did I say that right? You did, but that's not my language. That's not your language. Okay, okay. That's somebody else's um, expression of those. Cards. Oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> okay, I see those cards as. I feel like we have karma with everyone we touch. Sure. Mm-hmm. Right. I would I would agree we on that. Come in yeah. contact with yes. Yeah. I see those cards as spirit and soul cards. So our soul card represents what the gifts we bring into this life with us, who who we were before we got here. Mm -hmm. Because you talked about those two um, main solar spreads, the spirit, the grand spirit spread and the grand life spread. The grand spirit spread is our origin. Okay. It's where we come from. The grand life spread is where we came into time, where we landed. Uh, So would you, I mean, would it be, would it be safe to say, the spirit spread is heaven and then the life spread would be hell or earth. 
Would, would that be a good I analogy? I wouldn't go to, to hell, but <laughs> well, no, no, no. I'm just using kind of like well, I, I'm, but I'm the Earth. I'm saying the Earth plane is the ex. life. Sp- <laughs> <laughs> okay, but but the the life spread is the is the Earth, and then the 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 spirit spread would be the higher realms, the dimensions where we came from, as you mentioned. Yes, is that how you describe it? Okay, it's really the <clears throat> cards in their perfect order. Okay, and it's our origin, mm-hmm. right? And then. The life path is our journey through time. And I believe Mm -hmm. that our destiny is our origin. Mm -hmm. That we we move through time with the life path that we've come into to Mm -hmm. return to who we really are in this life. That's a possibility. And it's really easy to help people understand that and see that which is a big part of my work you Mm -hmm. know relationship analysis and helping people in major life changes timing of things and also understanding who you really are because we mostly know but we most of us haven't gotten the acknowledgement from the world around us that is in agreement with what we experience inside. And this mm. is a spirit card. I love that. That's how, great. I love how wow, you said that. Wow, that was, that. That was yeah. profound right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll rewind that one. And say it all over again. I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> oh. Well, it's a good thing we have it it's recorded. Good. We got it recorded, baby. So you're good to go. <laughs> I, yeah. I love that. That's awesome. I love that. So when you work with somebody, um, do you work with somebody you know do do the you kind of give people a basic understanding and then you because the cards move is that correct that the cards move and and so then to help them understand where they're at in their cycle in life can you explain that a little bit more because I actually I don't understand that part of it that well <laughs> we have a lot of cycles in the cards cycles yes okay mm-hmm. we have 28-year cycles, seven-year cycles, one-year cycle, three-month cycles. Mm -hmm. uh, We have 28-day lunar cycles. So our cards change with each birthday. Mm. We move through time. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mm -hmm. Time's like the matrix, and Mm -hmm. we just pop in, and then we go Mm -hmm. from here to here to here. Mm -hmm. There are a few cards that never move, but most of us move. The top three cards, right, the crown line? No. No. Just the king of spades. Oh, that's the only card that... And the jack of hearts. That's right. And the eight of clubs. Okay. Did they you know don't that move. Wait, can you say that those those cards are fixed? Those don't they move. They don't move. They, I know the King of Spades does not move. That's the that's and the, the Jack top of card in the Saturn line. Yep, he doesn't move. Doesn't move. Yeah. yeah. So fascinating. That's the fifty first card too. If you follow that with the t- the tarot, that's the King of uh, Swords. In the oh, tarot. he's King he's the fifty first card. Yeah, fifty first card. Because in this deck, he's a 52nd. 52nd. Okay, so uh, there you go. So there's yeah. a little bit of a he's change. He's the top dog. Yeah. Well, really, the Joker is. The Joker. <laughs> December 31st. Is it no, December 31st, Jack right? Yeah. December 31st? The only, 31st, the only card in the card deck, wishing. December 31st, the Joker. Mm-hmm. The fool. The fool in the tarot. Mm. Yeah. Love is a big thing. Besides money, everybody wants to know about love and relationships, right? Mm-hmm. So what is the big standout when people come to you and that, that you teach? Like, what is the really big gold nugget they're looking for? I mean, other than compatibility, but what would you say is a big standout for people that come to you for readings on, on relationships and whatnot? People, um, you know, I I have a lot of clients that, come to me when they are in a major transition or something's happening in their life that's really challenging challenging and um and then there are many people also that come for relationship advice which is really easy for me you know because it's so clear in the system these are the challenges, these are the opportunities, and, you know, this isn't going to change. That's a big deal, because people oftentimes will be in a relationship where they're not happy, 
And they keep having the same challenge over and over. And they think it will change. But because of the governing card of that relationship, it may not ever change. There's always that dynamic. And the composite cards actually bring things out of each of the people in the relationship. And I do not just couples, families, business partners, company employees. I was going to say business must be huge because you got a you got a you got a, a stack of 10 people that work at a company. Oh. Knowing who they are and how they react and how they behave is crucial to your business. Yes. Right? So you're able to do that when you go into a business. Yep. And it re- it helps people so much. I bet. You can help people understand each other, which is why I wrote Cards of Destiny. The guidance I got when I was making my little book, was you must write this in a way that everyone will want to read about everyone, not just themselves. Right. And then when I was in the middle of writing it, a friend of mine came over. I was living on Kauai at the time. And she said, will you print out my card? And I printed it out. And she goes, what other ones have you written? I want to read them all. And I thought, oh, it's working, you know, <laughs> because that's, that was the guidance I got. Absolutely. I know that I love to look at people's birthdays and, and go and I, I take screenshots. I go to my books and I take <laughs> screenshots and I send them to them. And I'm like, I'm like, does this resonate with you? <laughs> so I, I love it. And I've, I've turned so many people on to your books and your work because I, I think it is so amazing because it can benefit people in tremendous ways for understanding themselves and, and mastering their lives lives and living more fulfilling lives and not kind of banging their head against the wall. So yeah, it's really powerful. So it's such a gift. Thank you for these incredible books. Cause honestly, we, we utilize them oh, yeah, all the sure. time. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a, it's, it's a tool. It's a go to. Sure. It's a go to. Yes. And I have fr- I mean, the friends that I have that use these, I mean, you, you got some fans behind me standing. You just can't see them, but you got some fans that have been watching us that are, you know, they're rooting you on and to, to deliver more of the, the goods, you know, it's funny. Cause I'm rewriting the spirit card book. I would start rewriting it nice. today. I'm revising it and Very awesome. gonna put it in print because it's only been a Kindle book, but I want to go back to the spirit card because we didn't really go there. And it's one of the most important cards for us. It's who we are inside. Now you say spirit card. Can you define that for mm-hmm. the, in, in layman's terms for the audience listening? What is the spirit card? The spirit, our spirit card is found by finding the card we displace that's in the natural spread. The natural spread, okay. Okay. So that card really represents who we are inside that wants to be expressed. It's our inner psyche, our inner mm-hmm. world, the stuff that goes, the, the person we know ourselves to be that other people don't always see. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Mm-hmm. It's like, and so that card presents us with our challenges so that we may overcome them mm. and express who we really are and when we align with the energy of our spirit card it makes us really happy mm. wow. it's pretty incredible so the spirit card so like i'm the eight of spades is that my, is that would that be my spirit card you're the king of clubs is your king of clubs oh okay okay now i follow you so on the- you were calling them karma cards karma cards okay mm. Got it. That's the spirit card. Okay, that's oh, the way you define mine? it. What was mine? I forget what mine was. Uh, six, six of clubs. Six of clubs. Six of clubs. The messenger. The victory card. The mm-hmm. six of wands. <laughs> you're the messenger. Yeah. That's... And you're so happy doing this. Yes. And communicating with uh, is people. Is she ever? And you're the king of clubs, so you're wearing that crown of authenticity and communicating and teaching. You know, mm-hmm. it's... Yeah. I, I refer, it's interesting. I refer myself as a guide because <laughs> <laughs> I get messages and <laughs> hand them over, but interesting. What, so what's messenger. your, what's your, what's your spirit card? The three of clubs. Three of clubs. Mm, the card of mental creativity. Mental creativity. You're in your head a lot then. <laughs> well, 
I'm in my ideas. Oh, your ideas a lot, okay. <laughs> but my second spirit card is the six of clubs because my planetary ruling card is the two of diamonds. Mm-hmm. Yours is the four of spades. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yours is the three of spades. Three of spades. You're my Saturn card because the, well, the three of clubs is my Saturn card. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that leads me into the question, and we're here with Sharon Jeffers. Amazing to have you here. You. Um, Sharon, I want to ask you, um, as far as love is concerned, um, I've read a lot of different variations on which card is best suited for you. Now, the moon card is supposedly just to the right of you in the spread. Is that correct, or is that incorrect? That is not how I... It's not how you perceive it. Okay. Well, let, let me just throw that question out. What's the card... What planet would be associated with the best love outcome? Would it be Venus, since Venus is the planet of love? Or is there a lot of factors involved, and it's kind of a complex question to answer? (laughs) There are a lot of, uh, yeah, aspects to this. The composite card is really important. Okay. If you're governed by a composite card you know, your card and somebody else's card together, the card that that equals, that has a beautiful Venus card, you're going to have a really yummy connection. I see. Okay. See? Thank you. Or if you have a two of hearts as a composite card, yum, yum, yum. Okay. Okay. I see. I understand. Okay. So it's not just about what's in your life path or if it's your Venus card. It's... Much more than that. It's mm. who you two are together and what that creates. And mm. what is that Venus card? So mm. it's the alchemy of the two cards of the two people. And then you got to find that spot on the spread. And then you got to move forward and find Perfect. out what that card is. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Love that really that. opened me up there. Okay. Alchemy. Yes, okay. it's I love the alchemy. alchemy. Me too. Yeah, right, it's gold, baby. Yeah. right there with you. Okay. I love it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. Absolutely. I, that, that, that just completely opened me up. I mean, I'm, I'm, that was like a big nugget for me. Thank you. <laughs> and maybe, yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun tonight. I'm done working after this, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have some fun after this. I want to hear about that. Okay. <laughs> so amazing. So amazing. So, so thank you so much for coming. Uh, we're going to, uh, how can somebody contact you? I mean, we'll, we'll post your information, but what's your, your preferred method for somebody who wants to sit up and have a private consultation with you? Um, people can call me mm-hmm. at 323-377-7194. Or email me at Sharon Jeffers dot, oh, no, no, Sharon Jeffers at me dot com. And then my website is it's all in the cards dot com. I love it. I'll, I'll make sure it. we, I'll make sure we splash we those up on the screen for you and Thank highlight you those. Mm-hmm. Hey, this is all yes. about uh, raising your platform and, you know, you have so many great gifts and, you know, Hey, listen, th- this, this one right here is the one who kind of got it, got you uh, interested in coming on and sharing some of your, some of your night with us. So I just, I, I just, yeah. I love the information cause it's just about self mastery and, and living your best life and utilizing all these amazing tools to do so. And I'm, I'm, I'm such an advocate of that, of, of helping people. And there's, there's so many amazing things out there and, and what you give people is it's, it's priceless. It's <laughs> and thank you so much. Yeah. And you, I'm very grateful for this system. And it is all about self mastery. That's yes. what that king is about. And mm. our life path it reveals our path to self mastery. Absolutely. So absolutely. Now, Sharon, do you get into the planetary positions in the rows? Okay, because we're both in the Saturn line on the life spread, and then. Um, <laughs> I think I'm Neptune and you're Mars, I think. Oh, you're in the Saturn column. Saturn column, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh I'm Saturn Jupiter, so I got the best of both five and six. And then she's right (laughs) above me in the Saturn Mars uh, Mars line. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's why you're so, you know, Marsy like sometimes. (laughs) Why why I'm haunted. (laughs) (laughs) Why? Well, she's also a two of diamonds. Right. Uh, little wheeler dealer. The wheeler dealer card. <laughs> this is what's happening. <laughs> I love it. Well, I mean, in the tarot, it's the it's the two of pentacles balancing and juggling those things. Yeah. So. And also, your planetary ruling card is the four of spades. 
so you guys have that connection as well. Yeah, well, she sits right above me. Do you, do you, do you, do you have any, like, do you think that's important too? Is like, she's literally right above me. I mean, is that a strong connection when someone's like, can form the cross or the diagonal or... So How do you feel about that? You are her Neptune card. I am, yeah. And she's your vertical Mercury card. Vertical Mercury, interesting. Okay, that's another mm-hmm. nugget you just gave me. Thank oh, you. Oh yeah, there's a whole. I'm sure. Whole I'm thing. sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, I'm sure. This is why I'm haunted. <laughs> yeah. You know what's interesting about her though? Like her mom is the four of spades. Oh, so you're yeah, interesting. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's pretty dynamic. Four of Spades is a pretty strong card. Very. Yeah. Very. <laughs> very, very powerful. Pretty fixed. Well, I can't wait to have my my personal private uh, reading with you and, uh, yeah, continue on this, this learning journey together. Yeah, it's amazing. That'll Thank be you. great. Yeah. yeah. So Sharon, before we, we're almost out of time, but I want to ask you as well, and I don't know if Gabby has any more questions, but when you go into a business and you're able to, you know, sit down with these employees, or if you're doing a brand, a brand overview, do you feel that from all the experience you've had, do you feel that a lot of people are working in positions that they should not be in based upon their card? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Which can be real helpful. I bet. And, and usually people already know that. But it can help within a company to make changes Mm. that actually a person still has their job and is maybe better placed in what they're doing or helps their boss recognize that they're not taking full advantage of this person's abilities. Mm. You know, a lot comes to the surface, which is always really beneficial. So, Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you have any more? Qu- I have one more question. So, do you have any more questions? <laughs> no, I don't have any. Go okay, ahead, no. Logan. Well, I, I think it, I think what's really interesting, just because of what's going on in the world, Donald Trump, three of diamonds. What can you tell us about the three of diamonds? They really like attention. Oh. You know, on the if there's an imbalance, they have a very strong need to have a lot of attention. I mean, he's the epitome of a three of diamonds who's out of balance. Yes. Okay. Oh, he's a Gemini Magnified. Too, so. Well, what's interesting is Bernie Sanders is also a three of diamonds. Oh, no kidding. And they both have the ace of spades as their planetary rulers. They have the same wow. cards. Mm. But one's a Gemini and one's a Virgo. So the values are different, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I saw Trump was going to win in his cards when the election was happening. Everybody was texting me, who's going to win the election? I'm like, you don't want to (laughs) know. I'm going to tell you, I'm not talking about this. You know, but I saw everybody, a couple of people had their birthdays just before the election and fell off the edge. So... I haven't looked. Oh, yes. Yet. That's the next question. I know. <laughs> I know. No, no. God, that, that, that would open up. I knew that, that was yeah. going to right. open up a Pandora's box. <laughs> I was going to look the other day because somebody mentioned it to me, and I haven't. I've he, just been running around busy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now we're we're very curious. Now we're going to have to. <laughs> now we're, we'll we're, have to do another show. Yeah, we'll have to do another show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, sure. it would be really fun to to also have you know have you do like a little mini reading for somebody and so people can really understand it more and really see how it can guide and benefit them. Yeah, yes. I'd love to do that. Yeah, we can Next get some show. callers in to uh, to do a live call. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. I used yeah. to have a radio show. I oh, did that man. all the time. They're fun, huh? It's mm-hmm. so fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I love that. Next Definitely. time, and we'll have the uh, prediction <clears throat> for uh, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you so choose to want to do that. I don't know. That's a, Depends that's what a it slippery is. slope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to kind of tiptoe around mm-hmm. the political world yeah yeah we we tiptoe around it too (laughs) 
it's just really interesting. I'm mean, like, you know, the Dalai Lama, Nine of Diamonds. I mean, it's just really interesting when you start looking at these people and where they sit in the spreads. It's, it blows me away. And it makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. So much sense. You know, like I, I've studied the, like if you study if you, what you want to term God or the, you know, the creator of this matrix, I kind of narrowed it down. I think my theory anyway is, is one of the cards is the Jack of, Club, Jack of Clubs, <clears throat> which is really interesting. It's the Knight of of uh of wands mm -hmm. you know in the tarot it's really interesting when you get into that aspect as well i don't know if you're kind of tinkered with that but comparing them yeah comparing them where they sit and how they play out and really just it's just it's just to me it's just obviously i'm a little biased on it because i'm fascinated with it but i mean where these people sit and where these positions are it's it's there's so much truth to it and people don't even people sitting there playing poker and playing you know all these games with they're not even understanding that they have so much more value than just trying to make money with it. <laughs> well, yeah, I look at that stuff all the time. Sure. Where people are and what's going on. And and I love Las Vegas. Because yeah. I'm just surrounded by cards. It's like, <laughs> yeah. and I'm like, you know, it's like you're walking around with a secret, you know? <laughs> <laughs> totally. Well, that. now we're in the age of Aquarius, man, all the secrets are coming out. So yes. this this is going to become, this is your time to shine, really, because I, I believe this stuff's going to just be catapulted to the top and be put on a pedestal. All the mystical arts, especially this one, is mm -hmm. going to really start to come to the limelight. Mm -hmm. So, cool. yeah. Well, that's it, man. Hey, listen, Shan, again, so much. We're so grateful to have you here. Thank you You've so much for having me. such a gift to us. Me. I such, can't wait to bring you back on again. Such a gift. Thank such you. a gift you give to us all. So thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely. And we'll make sure that we get some uh, some stuff out on the screen for you. We your, will your, see you. We'll see you next time, time on the Healers. That's, on the healers. It. that's it for the Healers. <laughs> My name is Logan, the lovely Gabrielle, our great guest, Sharon Jeffers. Thanks for coming on, Sharon. Thank you. Until next Bye. time, everybody. Good night. <laughs>